today i have taken a little controversial topic to discuss that is how often we need to treat mb2 canal in maxillary molars or is it really needed to treat these canals in each cases and then these days we are seeing many cases of middle mesial canal in mandibular molars so what will happen if we leave them as it is or if we miss them the incidence of middle mesial canal is quite less that is 3 to 15% cases but mesiobuccal 2 that is mb2 is quite frequently found in maxillary first molar that is 91 to 92% cases and approximately 75% cases in second molar second maxillary molar so that means uh, almost every case have mb2 canal that is 9 out of 10 so are you really obstructing mb2 or what is the status of your cases are they failing because of missing mb2 so if you ask endodontists or especially academicians they'll say you must obturate mb2 you should not miss mb2 but if you go to experienced endodontists that means who are doing rcts from last 20 30 years their thoughts are different they'll say this it is not needed to do mb2 in every case so i am doing endo from last 10 years and uh, i have done many maxillary molars and obturated mb2 in many cases especially during my initial years when i was very fond of uh, doing it digging in the rated area and feel joyous to clean it obturate it but with experience i found that i felt that digging in each case is not necessary case doesn't fail because of missing mb2 you do you do first all the three canals that is mesiobuccal distobuccal and parietal canals efficiently and after cleaning them pick your dg16 and roll over the pulpal floor especially at the junction of floor and wall if you find some catch then try to put your file in that or if it is not going easily you can you know dig from ultrasonic and try to find the extra canal not only mb2 it can be db2 also it can be extra parietal also but don't go arbitrarily first try to find some catch so one thing is clear if you are obturating mb2 that increase the success rate of the case there is no doubt about it but arbitrarily digging the pulpal floor to find it is not right that will invite complications like perforations so if you really want to obturate mb2 then you have to go for a cbct you can go for single tooth cbct and then with the guidance of cbct you can obturate mb2 thank you